Hello everybody and welcome back to X4, where this is probably another- Ooh, my microphone stand decided to be a little noisy there. Stop that. We good? We good. This is likely to be another kind of checking in episode here. I mean, we have a lot of money that we need to make. However, take a look at this. We are fully paid for our GE Life Support Factory at this point. So now we are just waiting for this to finish. And this is going to be quite a long time. It is definitely not going to finish during this episode. But it's going to start coming online quite soon. And do we have liquid storage here? We do. But we're not going to have... Yeah, we're not going to have any uh, demand for water until this gets finished up. So this station is not going to be functional in any meaningful way until this is all finished. And I think that'll probably be done before or right around we get started with next episode. And next episode will probably be getting this station operational and online. But for right now, I want to also check in real quick on the status of our GE headquarters, we still need about 50 and a half million credits to finish this off. It's, uh, underway. <laughs> We're making progress, but it's slow going there. Now, at some point, I'm not sure exactly when, but at some point, one of our Mercury Vanguards appears to have gotten blown up. I didn't see it happen. It just vanished. So we're going to need another Mercury Vanguard. Of course, we currently don't have the funds for that, although if we have some funding come in, we will. But that is not currently the case. Do we have any missions currently available? Well, not over here by the shipyard, but maybe there would be some over by the wharf. I did get our trading completed over here, and... Uh, it was just in time, too, because it looks like the Argon Federation is kicking the Holy Order of the Pontifex out of their system. So we're going to leave the Holy Order of the Pontifex alone, and we are just going to... Who just shot at us? That was rude. At any rate, we're going to go see if we can find some credit generation to do. So we're going to head out over this way. Clear the way. Now that just gives us a basic seminar for management. But I guess we'll accept that. We'll head over there and we'll clear out some mines, I guess. And maybe... Where is this actually taking us? Oh, just down over by the jump gate? Okay, that's fine. So we'll keep an eye on that and uh, we'll head over there. Once we get there, we should be able to clear that out pretty quickly, and hopefully we'll be able to purchase another Mercury Vanguard this episode. We only need about 500,000 credits for it, so in theory, that should be pretty doable. I was asked to drop my cargo. Yeah, you can ignore it. Don't need to drop your cargo at all. Okay, yep. Still gonna take some time for all that to happen. Actually... I just want to check the life support factory here. Of course, we're going to need a couple of mining craft for the life support factory. And we're also going to need some traders, but that's all kind of long-term planning there. For right now, let's go up over here and see what we can find. Time to break. <laughs> okay. How far away are these things? Oh, hello. Those mines are going to blow up on this agricultural freighter. Didn't even really dent the shields. Okay, so there's not that many mines over here now. There might be a few more that we don't see just yet. Just going to boost in a little ways here. Okay, there we go. Kaboom. 6.5 kilometers, 5.5 kilometers. Both of those are on the far side of the gate here, so let's just make our way around. Is 
something like this. There we go. Okay, one more here. Unknown object. It's about five kilometers away. Take that down without any real issues. And that'll just give us a uh, management seminar. Not too interested in it, but hey, gives us something to do. Of course, we have been promoted to Order Initiate with the Holy Order of the Pontifex. I'm kind of spooked by the music right now. Are we allegedly in combat with something? I don't know, but uh, let's head up over here. Is the autopilot going to take us through the gate? No, it is not. It must have been that guy that it thought that we were in combat with. Okay. But well, while we're heading up there, let's uh, check in on our stations over here. See if we've got any extra funding. That was our big freighter, not our station. Okay, nothing there. And nothing really here either. Fine. Empty space. Okay, anything else to do? Repairs. Three data leaks, huh? Is that something that we have to get out and repair in our ship? Or is that we just have to find the data leaks? I don't know. Two-star crew for management seminar for destroying mines. But I kind of want to try this. I knew I could count on you. So we need to repair three data leaks up here. And we'll just see what we can find. It's only worth 70k credits, but that's not the primary purpose that we're doing here. This is mostly just filler content. Just checking in to see if we've got any money here. We do not. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I'm not sure how fine it is. Uh, we're going to need to toss in a little bit of money over here. I'm trying to keep this at 50k for the station account and 100k for the construction account. And of course, this station over here, we're going to continue to accept that estimate there. Excellent. So there are signal sources popping up. That's nice that it's just telling us where they are. Okay. So let's just get to the other side of this pier module. And let's see what this is. We will go ahead and enter scanning mode. Do we have to... Scan this? Yes. Okay, we'll just close right in here. Mission failed. Data leak scan detected. Repairs required. So is it over then? We failed it because it was detected? Apparently so. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. What is this vigil at the gates? Deploy a satellite at target position for 61,000 credits? I knew I could count on you. That's super easy. We will do that. It is over this way? That's fine. Apparently I'm ramming the shipyard a bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. Jump gate. The reach. Okay, so it wants us to deploy a satellite basically at this jump gate. We do not need to be in scan mode. Just boost in a little bit. Are we technically within this? No, we are not. Now we are. So we would just deploy a satellite. And we're good. Do we technically know where this jump gate connects to? Maybe we should jump through this and see. Entering 
Scanning system. And now we know. Excellent. So there's an Argon ore refinery over here. On the day of my daughter's wedding. Oh, we have to attack a th an Argon ship? I will, uh, I'll pass on that. Thank you very much. Well, now we know about this state, or rather this system over here. That's fine. We'll head back to Argon Prime. System. Argon Prime. Excellent. And let's check to see if any of our freighters have made us any money. That would appear to be a negative on that count anyway. Over here, yeah, we've not really made much. I suppose we could take a small chunk out of here. I want to check in here in our logical overview and see how many hull parts we have stored right now. We are currently full. Okay. That's interesting. That's a mineral vanguard there. We've got a mercury vanguard coming in, and it looks like its plan is to pick up graphene. Only 80. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're planning on increasing our export capacity here anyway. The hull parts factory is the, the one that is lacking a mercury vanguard. It does have a larger freighter, though, which currently, what is that freighter up to? Let's check. It is currently hauling a tiny amount of refined metals. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> okay. That is helpful indeed. Well, let's head over towards the Argon shipyard here and see what we can find over here. Anything in terms of missions? Oh, they found a smuggling vessel. Maybe we can eliminate that? Where was it? I do not see it. Oh, here it is. Mass transporter B. We can go after this guy. He is not very far away. Cruising along at a pretty low speed. There we go. And we got ourselves a spacesuit bomb, apparently. There's another red over here. This Buffalo. is an energy freighter buffalo. That's a pretty big boy there. I think we'll leave that guy alone. So that will be fine. I did just hear a trade complete. So what do we got? I guess a small amount of cash in our station account? Yeah, pretty much. That may have been a trade going into one of our buy storages. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. We got 500 credits. Woo! Hmm. This appears to be the same mission but offering us just an extended fuel container, which I'm not currently amazingly interested in. I think we will head over towards the Argon Wharf and see if they have any missions available over there. So let's see what they've got. If they don't have anything, this may be a short episode, but that's okay. I was really hoping that we'd get a Mercury Vanguard this episode. I mean, we could get a low-spec one, but... I want a high-spec one, which, if we were to buy a high-spec Mercury Vanguard, that would be 1.7 million credits. Okay. Well, we'll just see what we've got available. Peace and stability. Okay, that's a patrol. We're a little on the weak side to be doing that, I think. Up with repairs. Two data leaks. I mean, we can try this again. This is one data leak for 51,000 credits. 
We'll do this. So we'll head over towards this factory over here. Yeah, that's quite a ways away. So during this time, we can always be checking in on a few other things. Like specifically what's going on exactly in Grand Exchange right now. And it looks like currently not a whole lot in terms of our income. I mean, we're going to get a big payout eventually. It comes in in spurts. Sometimes we get like 10,000 credits. Sometimes we get like 2 million. It's kind of extreme with how variable it is and how long it takes to do it. But I think as we ramp up our trading ships, we will have better luck on that. But here we are at our signal source. Disengage. And we will go ahead and do this. Excellent. And I think we just maybe closed in a little too quickly or something with the detection previously. I'm not sure. We'll enter scanning mode. And we'll just see if we can't scan this. Hmm, that's going to be maybe slightly complicated. We may need to get into our spacesuit here. Mission failed. Data leak scan detected. Okay. Well, we unlocked a discount here anyway. I'll probably have to look up what I'm doing wrong on that, but it may be that we have to do that in a spacesuit. We'll see. Well, for right now, there's not currently any other missions over here, so I guess we will head back towards the shipyard and see what else we can find. I know there's another repair mission over there, and maybe I should just try doing it in the spacesuit. We'll take a look. Okay, no funding here. There's a little funding here, actually. Bump that down to about 50k. There we go. We'll accept that estimate. Fantastic. Empty space. So let's just see what, what else we've got available for missions. Peace and stability, this is a patrol. Yeah, I'm pretty spooked by a patrol mission in this elite vanguard. But this one here, we'll give it a go. And we'll see if maybe we have to scan it in our spacesuit. Because so far, we have a 100% failure rate on that detection scanning from the ship. So maybe, does it even say in the briefing? So this is the wrong mission. This one. Yeah, I don't know. We'll try it in the spacesuit and see how that works. Okay, so how far out are we? About seven kilometers, that's fine. We'll just cruise right on in. Okay, we will park ourselves not in scanning mode, somewhere around 200 meters out probably, eh, maybe a little closer. Something kind of like this. Okay, and now we'll hop over into Elite our spacesuit Vanguard. and see if this is what we need. Okay, where are we? Here we are. Excellent. And we'll just cruise our way right on in. This is much slower, to be sure. It would appear that we can boost. I've never tried that in the spacesuit before. We'll enter scan mode. Uh, 
And we'll just see if this works. Are we close enough? No, we are not. Two meters. Detected. Yep, I'm clearly missing something, and I'm not sure what it is, so I'll probably have to look it up. But, let's just head on back to the Elite Vanguard. Need to go down a little bit, arrest our sideways momentum, and just push on forward. So yeah, with that, I am officially out of ideas on how to not be detected on that, so I will definitely have to look that up if we're going to try any more of those missions. Uh, please stop. Thank you. Uh, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't exactly the bay, but I guess it was close enough. So what else is available? A whole lot of nothing. Okay, well that's because we're at the Argon Shipyard. That makes sense. Let's check in over here. 65k. Yeah, we're not quite going to have enough for the Mercury Vanguard, it seems. Even with this. Yeah, we're just not going to. Well, that's okay. Let's just check in over here and see where we're at. We're working on energy cell production right now. So that's nice. We're definitely making progress, but each one of these sunrise flower productions took half an hour to make. It was kind of extreme. But next episode is going to be focused on getting the life support factory online. And for that, we're going to need a fair amount of cash. To that end, I'm probably going to just bank the cash and not invest it into our construction at the GE headquarters for right now. I think that's probably going to be the plan. But for right now, I'm just going to request docking here at the, uh, G not the GE shipyard. We should make our own shipyard at some point. But at the Argonne Federation shipyard, we'll just get lined up a little bit here so that the docking computer can take over. And I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, we are going to work on the life support factory. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.